Under the surface of the ocean, a thousand-year-old conversation hums through fast clicks, communications between giants whose brains are half a meter long and six times larger than ours. Scientists are now tapping in with sophisticated AI, listening in as never before, and the secrets they're revealing are something nobody could have imagined a million years ago. What they're finding is unveiling a whole new method of how intelligent life talks to each other right here on our planet. From the very beginning of exploration of the sea, the wide and enigmatic ocean has carefully protected its secrets. Sailors for centuries, coming back from their long sea journeys, carried with them unbelievable stories, some of mythical sea serpents, others about the ghostly, singing voices of whales. These voices were just part of the ocean's wonders, lovely, to be sure, but almost unknown. Whales have been revered for their massive size but hardly ever considered having minds to match their power. To human beings, they were only considered resources, one appreciated for having blubber to light lamps and bones used for corsets, before an unexpected incident changed everything. In the 1970s, the world was awakening to a new era of environmental awareness. It was during this time that a quiet but monumental discovery took place, one that would change our perception of whales forever. Marine scientists, long fascinated by ocean life, turned their focus to humpback whales and began recording their vocalizations. What they found was nothing short of astonishing. These moans, groans, and eerily beautiful melodies were anything but background noise. They were sophisticated, changing over the course of time, and might continue for hours. The recordings were edited into a record called Songs of the Humpback Whale. This scientific document was not only facts, it reached out to the imagination of the general public and generated an international movement that eventually preserved these incredible animals from extinction. As researchers delved deeper into the domain of bioacoustics, the science of animal sounds, scientists were left with more questions than answers. Initial investigators, equipped with rudimentary recording devices, methodically listened and parsed sound in an effort to know why whales sing. Speculation arose, maybe the songs were mating calls, cries of alarm, or some sort of communication. Still, no one was certain. For years, we could only speculate, bound by the sheer volume of data and limitations of our own senses. We could listen to the sounds, but we were unable to interpret them, until Dr. David Gruber came along with a revolutionary concept. Dr. David Gruber, an American marine biologist and National Geographic scientist, felt that to truly listen to whales, old equipment wouldn't be enough. Inspiration came from an environment far away from the ocean, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. SETI seeks to tune in to signals from space, searching for messages from other civilizations. Gruber asked himself, what if alien intelligence was right here on this planet, in the form of humpback whales? This revolutionary, near-science fiction idea became the impetus for the development of Project SETI, the Cetacean Translation Initiative. Gruber assembled an unprecedented, interdisciplinary crew, marine biologists, computer scientists, linguists, and roboticists, all bonded by one mission, not just to tape whale vocalizations, but to do something never done before, design a two-way conversation with another species. But in order to reach the whales, they would require more than ears, they would need a portal to a completely different universe. The group gathered for Project SETI was uniquely different from other scientific teams. It was a mix of different experts whose disciplines appeared to have little relation to one another on the surface but were tied together by a common, bold goal, to unlock the secret code of whale communication. The combined synergy was imperative, the puzzle was too sophisticated to be cracked by a single discipline. At the center of the project were scientists with decades of hands-on experience with whales. Shane Jero, a marine biologist, spent more than a decade tracking a single family of sperm whales off Dominica in the Caribbean. This was not a job, it was a calling. Jero named the whales, watched them mature, and developed friendships with them after years of close observation. His extensive, long-term fieldwork formed the foundation of Project SETI. One of the biggest advantages this contemporary team possessed over previous researchers was access to sophisticated natural language processing via AI. Whale language had previously only been a fantasy, held back by available technology. 
But by 2019, the group knew they could now construct an underwater recording studio that would be able to record the complete nuance of whale language. This discovery ignited a fire under the project, making the impossible suddenly seem possible. Dominica, with its volcanic terrain and deep offshore waters, was the project's hub. Its geography enabled the sperm whales to swim near shore, and its whale population did not fluctuate, with many families returning year after year, making it a perfect spot for long-term observations. In 2020, Project SETI began formally with a big shot of cash from the TED Audacious Project, $33 million. The team's first challenge was to create a 20 by 20 kilometer underwater listening and recording array off Dominica's coast. The array would enable AI not just to listen to the whales but also to discern who was speaking, to whom, and in what social context, a fundamental step from passive listening to actual understanding. Field scientists and tech experts worked hand-in-hand in, hand in ways never seen before. Biologists provided behavioral insight, while computer scientists brought the computational muscle to sift through enormous datasets. The integration of human expertise and machine capability was Project SETI's greatest strength, ensuring the problem was tackled from every possible angle. But one question remained, how could they collect sound from the deep without attaching a microphone to a whale? The answer lay in sensors, specifically, arrays of hydrophones, underwater microphones, placed on the ocean floor. These devices worked like a room full of high-sensitivity microphones, constantly listening 24-7. Arranged in a grid, they could detect and locate the source of any sound, allowing the team to pinpoint exactly which whale made which noise. To go along with this, the crew sent out autonomous drones and robots armed with non-invasive suction cup tags that they attached to whales. These tags picked up audio, followed movement, monitored heart rate, and witnessed social behavior. This marriage of hydrophone information, who spoke to whom, and tag information, what they were doing while they spoke, gave AI the background needed, enabling it to distinguish between a noise emitted while hunting, socializing, or doing something else. This strategy yielded an unprecedented quantity of data. Whereas previous studies may have amassed hours or days of sound, Project SETI amassed millions, soon to be billions, of calls. It was essential, because AI operates on expansive datasets to discern important patterns. The researchers were creating the world's largest collection of whale calls. Yet raw data was nothing until it was worked. The sensors and microphones might capture sound forever, but language itself was concealed, until sounds were input into machine learning software. To the human ear, the audio of the ocean is a cacophonous jumble of clicks, whistles, grunts, and waves. The team's first hurdle was turning this into something for the AI to read. They used spectrograms, graphical displays of sound, to turn whale calls into pictures so AI could look at the sounds. The AI's initial task was to isolate CODAs, specific click sequences used by sperm whales, while filtering out background noise. This step acted like a Rosetta Stone, enabling the AI to focus on meaningful signals. Through deep learning and neural networks, the system wasn't given predefined communication rules, it learned by analyzing millions of CODAs, discovering patterns entirely on its own. As time passed, AI had detected rhythm, tempo, and minute differences that were invisible to the human ear, similar to learning language by exposure. The huge dataset enabled it to discover that sperm whale language works as a phonetic alphabet, with attributes like rhythm and ornamentation, additional clicks preceding or following a coda, giving a staggering number of distinct words. This broke the long-standing assumption that only human beings possessed advanced linguistic systems. For the very first time, researchers caught a glimpse of the syntax of whale language, observing the components of their language, but not yet understanding what the messages said. Scientists had previously thought that whale language would be straightforward, about commands or survival. But the AI uncovered something much different, whale communication was highly context-dependent. They weren't just sharing practical information, they were engaging in rich, personal dialogue that captured relationships and social relationships. More detailed study revealed even higher levels of complexity, 
variations within clicks served in much the same way as vowels in human language, and whales employed subtle changes in rhythm, rubato, as well as subtle timing shifts within codas. These subtleties implied a degree of expression and social complexity no one had envisioned, pointing toward a worldview and inner life as complex as their aquatic environment. Researchers also found that a whale's coda could have an underlying rhythm, such that the slightest delay or the acceleration of pace could totally alter its message. In addition to rhythm, the delicate ornamentations of these codas were just as important in transmitting various messages. It was like the underlying words of their vocabulary were being fashioned and crafted to convey various sentiments or aims. This demonstrated a level of linguistic complexity that challenged the conventional wisdom that such advanced communication is specific to humans. The AI further demonstrated that the language is closely tied to the social identity of the whales. Studies indicated that each different whale clan, or family, utilize various dialects that mark them as who they are, just like how individuals of different places use various accents. These groups of whales had their own particular language, and when the AI decoded the clicks, it was able to tell which group was speaking just from the slight variations in their style. That is, their language was not a learned, universal code they shared with all other sperm whales, but a 